Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Raseem here from the channel Hands and Smiles. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of an oud oil from the company called Jungle Oud, which is a UK based company. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions of this oil and it's called, I'm going to butcher the name unfortunately, uh, it's called Oud Nahavol. So if you know how to pronounce this, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to call it Nahavol, Oud Nahavol. And this is from the region or the place of Naha Trang, which is in Vietnam. Now, I've never tried a Vietnamese oud. I don't think I have anyway. So this is my first time trying a Vietnamese oud. And in the past, whenever I've come across a Vietnamese oud, and it's usually been from a certain brand, they're ridiculously expensive. So I've never had the, the pleasure of trying one. Uh, but this one is quite affordable actually. I believe it's only £150 for 2.5 gram. And this is a oud that was distilled in 2019. Uh, the website doesn't say if it's a, a wild oud or plantation. And because it doesn't mention it, I'm going to sort of assume it's a plantation oud. But don't quote me on that one. So let's give this a first impressions. And I'll put it on this knuckle here. Oh wow, it's extremely, this oud is extremely medicinal. That's what, how would I would describe it. Very green and very medicinal. Um, oh my God. This is giving me vibes of an oud oil that I absolutely adored from Ensar Oud. And I actually bought a bottle of that. It was distilled in 1985. It was a Malaysian oud or a Sumatran oud. And the names just escaped me. But it's giving me that exact sort of vibe. This is a, like an old musty sort of smell I'm getting. But it's very medicinal and very green. And it's got a beautiful sort of uh, uh, sort of smoky, incense -y quality to it. Wow, this is this is fantastic. This is really beautiful. So imagine really old uh, wood, musty old wood. Uh, it's green and very. Imagine notes, medicinal, woody, green, musty sort of notes. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting from this. I'm not sure other people would truly appreciate this. They might think that maybe this guy hasn't showered in a while. But if you... <laughs> I'm just thinking that's a very strange way of saying it. But if someone smelt this on you... I think you probably haven't showered in a while. Uh, it's giving off this really old, musty sort of smell to me with a lots of greenness. The greenness is like a mossiness. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting. So imagine you're walking in a really dark, dampy forest and you come across a bench and the wooden bench is just covered in moss and the rain and the whole environment has just made it give off a certain sort of smell. That's what I'm getting, like really wet wood with lots of moss, green moss on it. The beginning had a lot of uh, medicinal qualities. The medicinal quality has gently eased a little bit. It's more giving off a greenness now. This is an extremely interesting oud oil, uh, which sort of reminds me, I'm not going to say it's exactly the same as the Ensar oud oil. I believe it's called... And Sense Royale, 1985. It's giving me that similar sort of vibe. I'm not going to say it's the same type of smell, but it's giving me that similar vibe. It's got this lovely old school, old musty sort of smell. It's got some greenness, some medicinal quality. And a sort of smoky, incense -y, old incense -y sort of smell. This has probably been my favourite oud so far. Uh, from jungle oud that I've tried. This is just so interesting. This is one that you, you'd have to wear at home when you're by yourself. Maybe if you're working from home or you're reading a book. 
something to wear in solitude and just enjoy the different sort of uh, nuances and character you get from this type of oud. For my first ever Vietnamese oud, or I think my first ever time trying a Vietnamese oud, I'm really impressed with this one. I think this is fantastic. I'm just going to double check the price on this one. Uh, I believe it's £150. Uh, £50. Uh, let me see. Yeah, for a 2.5 gram, this is £155. I think that's a wonderful price. I'm going to give this a proper wearing, and if I do enjoy it, I think I might even buy a bottle. I think this has been maybe my favourite oud so far from Jungle Oud that I've did the first impressions. I think Hind Kalakasi would probably be my second favourite. But this one, yeah, I'm impressed. So that's my first impressions of Hind, uh, not Hind, sorry, Oud Nahavo. Now, if I like this oud, I'm going to know how to pronounce it properly. Eventually, I will. But that was my first impressions. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do leave me a like and a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Until next time, my friends. See you later.